I think what he meant, it was something that uh, not cutting down somebody's salary or not, but as a country, we need to, we need to do away with most of the expenditure items that do not have strong correlation with our GDP growth. Like what? Uh, for instance, I think all those who are ministers and I will be beaten anyway, but I don't care anyway. Who lives in government bankers should pay. Mm. I would say monthly they should pay. I think mm. they should pay. Right. They and should what pay. else? I think land cruisers bought. But the finance minister has started doing all those things mm. anyway. But say us. Yeah. Um, land cruisers bought by government, not MPs. MPs pay for this. Okay. Deputies, ministers and ministers, MDs, CEOs. I think they should. It's time we redefine a new paradigm shift in the usage and the management of these uh, state assets. That if you're not driving outside Greater Accra, you should park. What about, you know, so I'm saying you pack what about government then, stopping that and going for saloon cars? Oh, you're not getting what I'm saying. Okay. The saloon cars are there. Okay. So they use saloon cars. Good. But if you are moving from here to Upper East, mm. my sister, you can't use saloon car. I'm being honest with you. Okay. So we should do that and control. I don't know whether if we can have a pool that you come and book, travel with them, bring it back. By doing that, we can cut down probably land cruises by about 70%. Mm. Because the cost of maintenance and other things. So there are a lot of things we can all do, even at the institutional level. Mm -hmm. A lot of wastages that we need to check. Not only the, the executive level. I mean, I'm even talking about agencies, mm -hmm. even the police sector, even education. There are a lot. Check. I think even private sector, some people do that. Even on our roads, see what happens. People do car wash. There's a place close to forestry. They will. I've been there like four times. I'm even tired. The road on which they put cars and wash. They do all these things. So we have a country that wastage is becoming a culture. That we all have to do something about it and concentrate on things that are really productive. 